Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of October 18th through the 26th. So what do we have for Gemini for the week of October 18th through the 26th? I've done one for the previous week, if you are watching it during that time frame, so you might want to watch that one. This one is for the 18th through the 26th. Let's get one more. Candle, you will be shown the way. Haystack, karma. You will reap what you have sown. December. December is very prominent. So I feel like you're going to get something in December. Um, you will be shown the way, whatever that is. You're going to get some sort of karma this week. The lovers, the lovers, that is fantastic. So this is an unexpected choice in love. Could be a reunion, could be new love. This is a soulmate connection. This is a perfect match. Major choices, unexpected choices, a healing love, a sexual connection. Somebody that you are in alignment with. You may be falling in love. A commitment may be stepping it up to the next level. Whatever this is, this is a beautiful connection. You notice the angel is bringing two people together. You are going to get exactly what you deserve. Okay? So that is fantastic. You may be saying, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure this is, you know, the one for me? Tower. Somebody's going through a tower moment right now. This is fate. Both of these cards. Universe and fate. So this is a fated event. This is going to be a shock. This is absolutely going to be a shock to you. You're going to be shocked this week. Um, this is uh, obviously a choice. You're going to be presented with a choice. You're going to have to make a choice. You're going to be very surprised by whatever this is. This is a major life change. Um, an uproar. You may feel very uh, uncomfortable with this choice that you have to make. I think it's going to come as, as a very big surprise to you. Um, it may throw you for a loop, whatever that means. Uh, I think this may have failed in the past or you may not, maybe you're not even looking. This is, this Six of Wands reversed is, uh, that's usually a fail, it's a no. And that's why it's like you're looking up, it's like, no, what are you talking about? I don't think so, you know, I don't think so. But I think that you're going to be presented with something that you totally don't see coming because this is an uproar, it's a disturbance, it's a shock. You are going to be shocked. Now the Six of Wands reversed is a no. You're probably going to say no. You know? You may be dealing with somebody that is prideful, that is smug, that is cocky. This person may be coming. This, maybe that's how you see this person. This person that is presenting an option to you. You may see them as being very, you know, cocky. I'll show, you know. Um, hmm. you asked for this this is something you asked for Gemini this is this is like the answer to your prayers you asked for it here it is this is as above so below this is a yes okay this is what you asked for you're going to be questioning it okay it feels like they're that all of a sudden, this is a very sudden energy. This is sudden change. All of a sudden, you are going to be presented with an option that you completely did not expect. This is what you asked for. They've answered your prayers. This is a golden opportunity. 
You manifested this. You did. You did. So you're saying no. The universe is saying yes. This is what you asked for. Okay, you asked for it. Your wish is my command. <laughs> you are definitely going to be getting a golden opportunity here. They heard your prayers. This is a golden opportunity. This is somebody coming in with a solid offer. Uh, this is uh, somebody that wants to build the financial security with you. Or they want to build the foundation. Uh, somebody that is responsible. That is in a solid position. You may be even getting, for some of you, you could be getting engaged. You could be getting a ring from somebody. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is somebody that has something solid in their hand. This is an offer. So you are definitely going to be getting a solid offer from somebody. It's going to be quite a surprise. This person knows exactly what they want. They see it very clearly. They have made their choice. This person has chosen you. You are the choice. But I feel like you're going to be like, are you kidding? Is that you? this really what I asked for? I feel like whoever you are dealing with in the past didn't see your value. They didn't know your value. Uh, they uh, didn't know your worth. But they love you, you know. And so it feels like somebody is going to, or they're going to be expressing their feelings to you. Um... Yeah, I feel like you you are at a point where you're going to be you don't trust this person. I feel like you don't you're not going to trust this person. I think that somebody is going to be expressing their feelings to you and you're going to be like, "Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know about this." Um, I think whoever you are dealing with may have involved themselves with another person because they didn't see your value, they didn't see their worth. They didn't see your worth, but it feels like they have some sort of feelings for you and they're going to be expressing their feelings. Uh, could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be a Taurus. Could be a Libra. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be Scorpio, Gemini here quite a bit. Could be another Gemini. Whoever is coming in with something for you. And if you are the masculine watching this, you could be making an offer to somebody. Okay. I feel like it is, this is masculine energy. I feel like a masculine is making an offer. Anyhow, this Queen of Cups, she's very loving. She's very gentle. She's very empathic. Um, I don't know why they keep falling. Moon could be a Pisces or a Cancer. Reality check. That's a reality check, a release of fear, stepping into the light, coming out of a dark period. Somebody's going to be following their heart. They've been ignoring their intuition. They've been ignoring their heart. But now they're ready. They're ready to follow their heart. This person was battling. They may, they may have even engaged themselves with another person that uh, was selfish or mean-spirited. Or that they weren't very attracted to or something like that. Um, somebody that didn't love them unconditionally. But either way... I feel like there is, you are going to be receiving some sort of offer from somebody that has been in hiding. It feels like this person has been hiding their feelings. They're definitely going to be expressing them. And I think that you are going to be absolutely shocked by this. Um, it's almost like you asked. You asked for this. You And, it, and I'm not sure that you. this is who you think it is. You know, this may not be who you think it is. It could be somebody completely different. Um, the Nine of Wands reversed. This is somebody that uh, is disagreeable. Somebody that has a lot of pride. We have somebody here that has a, a lot of pride. That has a chip on their shoulder. That probably gave up prematurely. You know, this person gave up. Instead of working on things when, when the going got rough, they probably gave up and ran, you know. And they may have built up a false sense of security with somebody else. I feel like this is some sort of reunion. I feel like you're going to be reuniting with somebody. I don't know who. I think that you're going to be absolutely shocked. 
It's like your wish has been granted. And if that's what you're wishing for, this is a new partnership. You may be, and if this isn't love related, I mean, it looks like it is. This could be a new partnership. You may be signing a new contract. Okay. You may be signing a new contract. You, may, you could, this is a oneness. Maybe you're going your own way. You know, you you may be signing a new contract and building a new foundation someplace else. You could be this could be a loan. You see clearly this is what you need to do. This is taking sole ownership. So some of you may be doing that. Maybe you're moving in December. This is false contract. Maybe you're leaving behind a false contract. This could go many, many, many ways. The answer is yes, though. Yes. Whatever it is that you've been wishing for, whatever it is, whatever it is that you want, the answer is yes. Here it comes. You're going to be shocked. You're going to be getting something that you asked for. This is something you can touch, something that can that you can take to the bank, something that you can build. Uh... It's not unrealistic. It's very real. Okay. You're going to be getting a very real opportunity this week. Um, but I do feel like you are going to be quite surprised. You may be giving somebody a reality check. Could be a loser. Okay. We have a loser over here. This loser may be getting a reality check for not knowing your value. Either way, you are going to be shown the way with that candle. You're going to get something, okay? Because of that karma, you will reap what you have sown. It looks like it is good to me. It does. It looks like it's good. I don't think it's bad. But whatever is happening, you are going to be... This is... The, the lovers is a contract. I think you're going to be signing a contract or you're going to be accepting a contract. This is what you asked for. This has to do with rebuilding a foundation or building a new foundation. So you're going to be building a new foundation. This is the beginning. This is the absolute beginning to peace and harmony and balance in your life. This is like the beginning. Okay. It's going to take some work. It's going to take some time. But... This is no fantasy. This is very real. You are about to get a real solid offer that is completely unexpected. So, uh, congratulations. Good luck.